Hi, I'm Sarah, and I'm back with another artist pro tip. Big painting, big brush. Craft store versus the hardware store. Whether you're just getting started in painting or a seasoned professional, a good brush and knowing how to use it is a great asset. Walking into any paintbrush aisle can be confusing and a bit overwhelming. I myself was standing in the craft store one day feeling extremely frustrated with this brush right here because it wasn't giving me a nice smooth finish on my skies and they were taking forever. And I always thought this was a big brush. So I was on a mission to find the biggest brush my Michaels had in stock that day. I bought this brush right here. This is a Simply Simmons. It's a long handled bristle broad brush, size 16. It retails for $8.99. It is 1.25 inches wide across here. This 20 by 24 painting behind me is almost entirely done with this one brush. The sky has a very wispy look, as you can see from the streaks here. The paint applies very thickly with this brush and I was using turpentine to thin the paint to get a more smooth and washed look. But as you can see, I still struggled with some spots, especially right here. And there was even a shadow from the canvas bar that lies behind here. And that's not a desirable or a good look to have on a finished professional art piece. So, another attempt. As you can see here, in this 18 by 24 ocean scene, I already knew the paint was going to go on thick. So, I was trying to work with the streaky look to add some texture and a more impasto style as opposed to like a wet and wet impressionist. But I was still having trouble getting a more blended smooth look and as you can even see in this spot, it almost looks like a, a round kind of little, little molded mess up here where I was trying to thin the paint and touch up a spot and it really didn't work. You could hide this with a frame, probably no one would notice. But then down here, having that texture was a huge asset because that those lines in the water here and in the road, add some natural textures. They actually look really good with the painting. So for those techniques, yeah, this is a great brush. I was still feeling somewhat frustrated with finding a good brush for a smooth sky, which brings me up to today, where I've gone to a lot of hardware stores and started experimenting with house painting brushes. This is my favorite hardware store brush. It comes from Lowe's. It's a Valspar two inch flat brush and it's for wall and trim. It retails at $10.48. I love this brush because it's very easy to work with and the paint applies and blends very nice where you can get that nice smooth sky because it's wide enough and it's very soft here and I didn't need to use any turpentine, which was a huge bonus. So two different brushes, two different techniques. Try out a new brush today, see what you can create. Happy painting.